Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about this brand new Creative Memories Boot Prints Border Making Punch. Okay, I have a little sample here. When you first punch it out, it leaves little boot prints on the paper, and you do have to put it on top of something to in order to see them. So, but very, very, very cute. This, this came out with the Leave Nothing Behind collection, which is a very outdoorsy, uh, type of collection and um, I love this punch the minute I saw it my family does a lot of hiking and a lot of outdoorsy things so um, I grabbed this uh, right away um, as soon as I got it home though I realized oh this is great for work boots or army boots in my case army boots military boots um, but my son is an army reserve he has been for the last um, four and a half years so um, when I saw it, once I punched it out, I thought, oh, I have to do a page in his army album showing these cute little boot prints. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so let me put this aside for a minute because I would like to do a little layout share on his album. Now this album, I have to say, is one of my albums that it doesn't have a lot of bling. It doesn't have a lot of um, embellishments overall. I tried to use paper um, to highlight the page more than I did embellishments. It's very hard to find military related um, embellishments. Well, I shouldn't say hard, but but you know, you go to the store and they have one. And they have 25 different flowers, but they have one military that you might be able to use if it's the right branch. Um, so I really focused on paper in this and I really want my photos and my paper to just be the spotlight in this album. Okay, so as I flip through this, you'll see that it's kind of um, a little bit plainer, but plus, you know, we're talking about an 18 year old boy who just started <laughs> as an army reserve. Okay, so I mean, I don't, I don't think he would gonna want a lot of bling in here. Okay, so here's some samples of just, now this page, <laughs> maybe this is, you know, this is gonna be a very common theme. These are some of the standard embellishments that you can find. I did cut a lot of things on my Cricut, so we'll see that as we go through as well. So as I go through these um, photos, let me just tell you a little um, update story um, about the photos. So when he left to go into basic training, um, it was my first child who had left the, the nest and he's my youngest. So, um, you know, I kind of took it kind of hard. And one night I was just perusing through Facebook and I don't even know how, but I came across a Facebook page for his unit and I, I couldn't believe it. So I was very fortunate that I had found this page because as other military moms out there know, once they leave, you don't hear from them for like two weeks or so. So um, I found them very early on and I was also very blessed that, that whoever was in charge of that Facebook page, especially at that time, they um, were very photo heavy. They posted photos all the time and I got very good at picking my son out in a sea of camouflage they i mean they all you know literally look the same and um but i was at very good about it and um and that's what we're going to see coming up so i didn't really hide much of the faces in this book because i feel like well it's already on the internet if i found it other people can find it too so as i go through i'm not going to have too many where their faces are covered up okay a very basic basic border okay and I did try, if I knew the name of the event that was taking place, I tried to um, incorporate that as well. You know, see, this is what I mean about being um, able to find him. I knew that was the back of his head. <laughs> so you get very good at, you know, spotting out your, um, your child, right? And these are pictures that he doesn't, he didn't even know I was collecting. While he was gone, I was creating this book and I think it was just as much for him as it was for me to go through that process. And my, my goal was to have this done so when he came home, he'd have this whole book done already. And then you'll see some empty spots where this was where he was supposed to go through and add his journaling. But um, I have never actually followed up with that. And he was gonna pick, I had a, some, pictures for him to choose of other people. I got the two with him, but then I wanted him to choose who he was gonna put here. So here we just have a big banner with a title, and over here it's just an embellishment cluster. Let's see if you could see that. Oops, let me scoot the book a little more so you could see. It's just 
a tag and I put together a little cluster. Okay, it's kind of hard to see on that paper. But again, you'll see I use a lot of patriotic type paper, a lot of military type paper. Um, again, a simple border where I just made on my Cricut some titles of what they were learning or doing. And then some color blocking in between. Very, very basic. Camouflage paper going on. Um, again, he was supposed to put a, pick the picture for here. And then just trying to come up with as many sayings and um, different terms, army related terms that I could. Okay. Let's see, it's very hard to see the whole. I'll slide it. This one got a little bit fancy with, the, with a wavy border and some stars. Okay, those were probably cut out on my Cricut because I don't have any um, star die cuts. Okay. Again, a title, just a title, and a couple things printed out on my Cricut. Very basic. I'm just letting the paper really speak through. Okay, some more terms. More Cricut cuts. Um, this came from an embellishment pack. These things all came from embellishment packs. So I really just tried to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, more on the Cricut. I, I relied heavily on the Cricut. Okay, you see I just try to change it up, put a big circle there. I'm hoping you're not getting too much glare on this. And then something like this, I wanted the stars and stripes in the background is here they're actually having their um, uh, promotional ceremony. So I wanted that in the background and I wanted to keep that open so that it would really represent the flag Okay, very, very simple, traditional, let me, whoops, over here, a traditional type border here and here. I used a lot of uh, titles and a lot of letters to represent what was going on. And when I had appropriate embellishments, I included them. Okay. I mean, I think you're getting the idea that how simple I kind of kept this. Okay. Here, uh, it's very paper heavy. I use a lot of paper in the background, so I ended up matting and putting some solid cardstock behind it, kind of tone it down so you can actually see the photos. Okay. Okay. Added a little bit of twine <laughs> there. I tried to keep it in, in mind with the uh, ruggedness of being in army boot camp. And then these photos were, um, well, these ones I took when we were visiting. And then these ones were, uh, once they did get phone privileges, he was allowed to um, have his phone for a couple hours on Sunday afternoon. So he would call and he was able to send uh, some pictures um, at that time. And so these kind these came from him and just some snapshots of his buddies and around the base not too many but and then a couple from other um family members facebook pages of other military people who lived closer by and were able to actually go on base during those two hours okay and then the last page is just some memorabilia memorabilia which i won't show because it does have some personal information on it okay so that's that and um, so now let's get on to what page we're going to add today. So when he came home and now he his responsibility is he goes every weekend and then once a year he goes for two to three weeks in the summertime and does annual training. So that's what I my goal was to always stay on top of the annual training once he um, started and of course that's where I slacked off so um, that's what I want to do today is to make a page in his album using the boot print and um, showing one of the the first annual training that he went to now I don't have a lot of photos because you know he was 18 
and <laughs> the last thing he wants to do is when he's out there is to send his mom some photos so I do still rely on the internet I'll go and I'll clip some I'll show you the photos I have so I clip the signs you know whatever's on the internet I clip off I'm not really sure remember why I printed this one so big but um, those are the two that I got from the internet and then this is the one picture he did send me of himself so that it's going to be a pr pretty quick page I only have three photos and I'm going to use um, the Wonderlist collection when I looked at this I thought well this has those some military <laughs> um, what I would call like appropriate for military pages so let's see what I chose probably going to use that as a scrap I chose this brown it almost looks like maybe some faux leather and on the back side if you have this collection it's the one with the small words but I am going to use the darker side and then I'm going to use this print it's like a um, kind of a rugged newspaper uh, distressed kind of look okay those are the two papers I'm going to use from that collection okay so I'm going to use this one as a base I know that for sure and then this one um, I decided I was going to do a little bit of paper tearing so my idea is to paper, paper tear the bottom and then that's where I'm gonna have my boot print coming out okay so let's go ahead and do that I kind of want about two inches now when I paper tear I always tear a little bit to see which direction I need to go if you see white then and you don't want that look which I don't want that look then you need to tear the other direction so instead of going backwards I need to start going frontwards okay and I'm actually wrong because this is the side I want to look at I don't want the white here so I need to tear it under okay so I'm just going to tear this across It doesn't have to be a perfect tear and if you have a tearing tool even better the rougher the better in my case right I believe on this um, trip he was pretty much sleeping outside in a tent most of the training okay so it's gonna go something like that and I'm gonna end up covering a lot of this paper so I might try and come up with a way of uh, trimming that so I can save a piece of that for another project okay I was thinking about possibly tearing the top too so um, let me come back to that idea so here's my photos again I kind of want them laid out kind of like I just was showing you something like this this one I'm gonna trim so let me grab my personal trimmer and I'm gonna trim off some of the dead grass there that we don't need to see do a little bit at a time until I get the, just the amount that I want so I kind of want it something like that oh that's let's see it's just big one I might have to reprint this one huh that is huge but kind of like it here I do I want it something like this I'm going to save this spot for journaling yeah I think I'm going to leave it plain up here I'm not going to paper tear it so I'm, I probably will try and gut some of the back paper or trim it down okay so my idea down here is to put the boot print okay so it's gonna look something like this this is just my sample though I'm not going to use this piece okay so you could kind of see the boots walking through the rugged area of the paper okay I'm gonna try and take off this little piece of white right there okay so let's cut a sample let me demonstrate how this punch works you take a strip and the front has markings if you want the paper to slide that direction you'll line it up on that black dot if you want it to line the other one then you line it up on the opposite uh, black mark okay so I'm gonna want my paper to slide this way that's just easier for me so I'm gonna slide this in um, up against that black line hold it in the back and push down and slide it over until you cover up the areas over here make sure it's in the back and push down okay again okay and we have teeny tiny fallout from this one 
Okay, so here's here it is. Now the one thing I have to say about this punch is I feel like it cuts a little bit close to the edge. So if I want my boot prints going that direction, then it's hard to tuck and I'm gonna end up covering up some of them. But that's okay, I don't mind covering them up. Um, I could also flip it upside down. My boot prints could be going the other direction. I had some extra here and so I could tuck it up going that way. Okay, let's see how big this, how wide this one was before we started. I should have measured that um, so we know. So we started here with a two and a half inch. Okay, a two and a half inch cut left me a top, a top border about that much that was good for tucking. So you just gonna have to consider that when you um, are cutting it. And if you have directional paper, you wanna make sure that you either turn it over so that, and if you have a specific way you want your boots to go, then you wanna make sure that you put your paper the right direction. I'll show you another sample um, here. So that's my idea right there is to have the boots and I'm okay with them walking in that direction. Let me show you some of this other samples. So here's one on a, a three and a quarter inch, same idea as the half, the two and a half inch. Again, I just gave myself some room to tuck. So here's the top of the punch, and my boots are gonna have to go in that direction, just, just the way I cut on the punch that time. So I flipped it over, okay? Because this was the top of the punch, and I flipped it over. Here's another example on a three inch piece where I punched it, but I knew I was gonna have them going the other direction, so I um, actually did it upside down. This one is just a piece of scrap, scrap paper that I welded together so I can practice. So I punched it this way so that the edge would be small, but then when I want to use it, then I want to be able to turn it over and I wanted my, the feet to be walking that direction. And now I'm looking at this, I really like my, my scrap paper better than I do the brown paper. It kind of adds a little bit more grunge because this paper is uh, distressed around the edges. Huh, I'm gonna keep that there for a minute. I might actually uh, keep that. I have slid this up a bit. I guess I want more, let's see here. Line that back up. Now I have lots of room to play so I could bring it down. I could have all the boot prints showing or I could tuck it up and make it look like they're walking underneath my torn paper. Okay, I kind of like that. So I'm gonna keep that for now. Then right here, I'm gonna put a journaling spot and um, again, attempt to have him journal. I guess, you know, if I just left the book out, he probably would, would get around to it, but I always put it back in the cupboard. So I'm gonna bring in a piece of brown scrap paper and I want it to be right about there. Let's see here, let's scoot this a little bit that direction. I guess I'm okay with it covering up the Y right there because you get, you get the idea that it still says army. Okay, so I want put on this journaling box, I'm gonna cut out, actually, I'm gonna start, this is a six by six inch square, and I'm gonna cut, start by cutting out a four inch section. And then I am gonna put some boot prints on this as well. So let's see here. Um, yeah, let's try this. I cut out a pretty big section, but I don't need quite four inches. Okay, the reason I did that was so that I could kind of guess which part of the die, um, the paper I wanted to trim. So if I want two boots, two whole boot prints, I'll have to trim it a little bit at the top here. And if I got rid of a little bit more, so let's see, we are at, we'll do a three inch cut. Okay, it's not gonna quite be that large either. I do want a little bit more room though, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna take a little piece of this Creative Memories lined paper. It's great for journaling. And I'm gonna do it this way so that it's matching the direction of the feet. Let's see, I'm gonna cut it at this line right here. And I don't need a lot of journaling for this. It was his first year 
um, and I have the location already. So maybe just a few things that maybe he remembers whether he you know slept under um, in a tent or did he sleep in barracks? You know, just a few little notes. Uh, this is my highlight photo. So I really want to have that. And I like that it says Total Force Training Center. I think that's important to have. So I think I actually might put that photo up on top so I don't have to keep fussing with how they're laying. Something like that. I kind of want all them touching. So yeah, I like that a lot. So I'll put the journaling there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put a title or anything in the journaling. We'll put that it was the annual training for that year. And this was 2018. So, But I did want to show you in the stickers that come with the Wanderlust collection. There are some that are actually would be appropriate for this page. And like who would have even thought, but I could always use the compass because they were field training. Could use the binoculars, of course the arrow. Um, uh, there's a lot of geo stickers in here. Another arrow, a map, because they were out practicing. Um, maybe not so much on this one. I mean, remember this, he might like that. Um, there's this other um, directional sign here, 24 seven, that's a good one. So there's a lot of, that would be um, actually appropriate for, for this page. So I also did pull out some of the embellishments that I had and um, I really liked this pair of boots right here because I kinda wanna go with the whole boot theme, right? They match, everything matches. He was trugging through this area. So I think I might put them like that. I'm gonna have to ask him how much does he have to say, but I'm really liking this compass idea as well, to put that compass down here with those boots, okay? And then I like to put three things, so maybe I will need to figure out a way to get these binoculars in there as well. Or maybe tuck them in here somehow, let's see. Okay, so there we are. I think that is going to be a wrap for this layout. Again, a very simple layout for my very simple army book that I'm keeping for my son. And I hope that that maybe gives you a little bit of inspiration on how to use the boot punch. And um, yeah, I'll be coming back and using that punch again for sure when I do some some hiking pages. So I hope you had got some inspiration out of that today. You might want to check out the boot prints punch. It's pretty awesome. I think you're going to like it. But with that, I'll just say take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.